Hi, so here's something that you might find interesting a little bit different. Eyeglass repair. So I have this here pair of eyeglasses, reading glasses, and of course the hinge snapped right off. So these are the type that are spring loaded, like that. So the little tang broke clean off. So the only alternative was to either A, replace the glasses, B, get a new arm, or C, glue or epoxy the arm to the glasses permanently like that so at least they can be used and um, obviously the side wouldn't fold. Or D would be to somehow remanufacture and insert a new tang or hinge into this arm. So what I came up with was to drill out very carefully this piece. I wrapped it with a cloth, put it in my vise, and then drilled that out. And the closest thing I could find was my little drawer of trim nails or brad nails. And I started hammering away at the end of it. I picked one that was uh, it had a uh, kind of squashed head like this, not one with a, with a flat head like that. And then I started hammering away at it with my shoe repair hammer on my uh, vise. And then carefully drilled it with the small drill bit. You have to be careful with these because they flex and they snap. These are already hardened steel, so I didn't heat and quench it. I just hammered on it lightly, deformed the metal, drilled the hole through it. And now what I'm going to attempt to do is get it into the arm, into this hole over here. I'm trying to get good lighting here, but it's a bit tricky, so we're going to jam that into there as far as it'll go. We're going to cut it at the appropriate length, so it's going to look something like that, sticking out of the arm, and then we're going to screw it back into here, and then we'll have a functioning hinge. It's not going to spring backwards, obviously, because it's going to be fixed, but at least that'll allow us to uh, fold glasses and preserve these frames. going to attempt to do that now. Okay, so we're almost there. You can see now we kind of got it looking something like a hinge. The only other part is going to be to trim this to the correct level and epoxy it into the arm. Alright, so I think that's going to be about it. We have the new tang in place. And I had to squeeze this just a little bit without breaking it to get it to fit snugly and the pin or the screw is going to go right into there and now you can see we have a pair of folding glasses so um, I was thinking of trying to solder this I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the solder to stick and flow properly that would be the ideal way but um, this is a type of painted or I don't know, somehow coated or anodized finish, so I don't know about that. Um, the other thing we're going to use is a two-part epoxy called JB Weld, because a classic clear resin epoxy is probably just going to crack and flake off, so we're going to use the JB Weld, which is usually better for uh, odd surfaces like this. So put it all together, and uh, we'll get a shot of the finished repair. Okay, so absolutely no need for the JB Weld epoxy. I managed to solder it right in there and uh, it worked. I was afraid that this piece was going to come off because it was not, it didn't look like it was one piece. Turn my little fume fan off, but um, the solder flowed quite nicely and uh, I think that's going to hold pretty well. Okay, there we go.
that's how you fix a hinge.